Alrighty, welcome to my very first Blender tutorial. I've been meaning to start doing these for a while now, but once I made this discovery I knew this this was the one to start with. And uh, yeah, your eyes do not deceive you at all. This is an ordinary Blender curve, but with rounded caps. Something that's been eluding the Blender community for a while now. But yeah, it works just like an ordinary curve. You can do all the same things, right? We can extrude it and so on and so forth and and taper it and it's just an ordinary curve there's no scripting there's no there's no add-ons there's no tricks it's not a workaround it's just an ordinary curve bezier curve with rounded caps instead of flat caps so without further ado i'm going to delete this and i'll show you exactly what i did to make this all right so let's just start with ordinary bezier curve this will work with any curve like i said but we'll just use a bezier for now and I'm just going to rotate this like so, maybe just scale it up a little bit. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so let's give this a bevel, like so. And let's put the fill caps on. So for a long time now, we've been stuck with this, right? There's been lots of workarounds using metaballs and array modifiers and animation nodes and so on, but no way of having rounded caps and keeping the curve as a curve. There's just been no way of doing it up till now. So when you go to round something, your first instinct is probably just to go to the subdivision surface, right? I mean, that's how we round everything else in Blender. You want something smooth and round, you put a subsurf on. But that won't work in this case right off the bat. Because no matter how much you crank it, the edges stay perfectly flat. They stay at this perfect 90 degree. There's no, this algorithm is not applied to the edge at any point. And there is actually a reason for that. And the reason is, if you've ever converted it to a curve, you have probably made this discovery, that this cap is not linked, is not joined to the rest of the curve, and that's why, that's why it won't roundify, that's why it won't get rounder with the subsurf, because it needs to be joined, the vertices actually need to be joined together. So if we just do that, right, let's get rid of this, if we just join the vertices first with a weld modifier, now, the subdivision surface has something to work with, right? Because it's actually joined, the vertices are actually connected. So we've still got some problems, as you can see. We're getting this, this jaggedness here, and that's because the subsurf is working with this triangulated cap. So the result is you end up with this, this basically, and that cranking it's not really going to help. So to fix that, what we need to do is we need to come down to here, the resolution on the, be the bevel resolution, right? And you just turn it down to zero, right? And it's as simple, it's as simple as that, right? And the reason that's working is because this is what the subsurf is working with, right? It's just this simple quad. Well, it's a triangle, but because there's so little working, so little starting with, the subsurf is doing all the heavy lifting. So by making it do all the work, that's how you're getting this roundness here. So you want to leave that at zero, because otherwise you will end up with the jaggedness. But you can keep, you can control the level of roundness as well with this resolution up here. So if I turn this down, you'll see it gets even narrower. And if I crank it up, you'll get a little bit more flatness if that's what you're after. So depending on what you're trying to do, you can contr even control how roundified the end of the cap is. You can, of course, do it manually. You just probably saw that when I did a bit of a demo at the start. You can, of course, control the roundness of each point just by scaling it. But yeah, otherwise, it's just a curve, right? It works like any other curve. You can taper it, you can path animation, do whatever you do with an ordinary curve, but at last, you can do it with rounded caps. So there you have it. Um, hope you enjoyed that. I certainly hope you hope you learned something. I'm probably gonna start doing these a little more, a little more often. Start making more of these, depending on what I discover and how exciting it is. So if you're interested in keeping abreast on any more tutorials or courses or tips and tricks, uh, by all means, give me a like and a subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. Okay.